Hello and welcome to another episode of GM Talks live here from Chennai in India. We have a special episode for you today with a lot of goodies, good stories, uh, a nice game, uh, a little bit about the future of chess. Um, we can start off the, right off the bat. Uh, Djokovic is still the FIDE vice, uh, the FIDE president. He won uh, the election against uh, Boris Pollet with a landslide, 157 votes versus 16. Now, uh, and and this uh, Russian, uh, the the head of the Russian Federation, Filatov, immediately wrote that Russia is still okay in the world. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that was uh, what people voted about. They voted that they liked Dvorkovich. They don't like Russia uh, because uh, Russia is uh, killing people in Ukraine. So a, l- a lot of people don't like Russia, uh, but they like Dvorkovich because he's has done a lot of good things for FIDE. Uh, uh, Peter Heine has been out talking about sports washing, and he's he's op- obviously a little bit right. Uh, still, the corruption that we had before the Dvorkovic is still not here. So people are seeing that. They are seeing that chess is being developed in many places, seeing that things are more transparent and uh, relatively better than they were uh, under Ilon Shinov and, uh, and also Kampomanis and so on. So... I think they uh, they voted for that. They didn't vote for Russia. Uh, that's that's my impression. Anyway, Denmark of course chose to vote for uh, Paris Polet. So we are always on the losing side in these elections. And uh, I don't know. I will see if there will be any repercussions on on part of that. Here in Chennai, there are of course. 187 countries participating. There's, of course, a lot of uh, funny story going around. Uh, I'm sitting in the press room getting some of them. Uh, the youngest participant is eight years old and from uh, Palestine. And uh, and they had an interview with her in and her father in in the press uh, in the media center. And that was kind of kind of fun. Uh, another story we can see is that uh, Russia is not here, but the U.S. is sort of the new Russia in that uh, they don't perform. They can't. Uh, they're not going to win this. They were clearly the strongest team, but they were not playing as a team, and they were not taking responsibility. And it was it was always it was always like they were five in, individual players uh, who were afraid to take risk, who were take, afraid to take responsibility, and that just doesn't work. So the 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 good quote here is of course uh, f- from Armenia, Aronian. Well, we don't need them because we are playing like a team. Uh, they used to win with Aronian, of course. They won. They won three times. They have a great uh, sort of winning culture in Armenia. This is a strong chess country. By the way, they are playing Azerbaijan today. Their arch enemy. They have been into. They are probably still a little bit at war. Uh, they just lost a war uh, like uh, the one in a conventional war, like the one in in Ukraine, uh, and and lost some uh, important ther- uh, territories in, in Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, so I don't think uh, they, I don't think they will say hi in a friendly way. They will not give shake hands and stuff like that. They don't like each other, um, uh, even though they're neighbors. It's, it's a bit sad. Uh, then uh, then another story that's that's clear here is. A lot of players have suffered from uh, problems with their stomachs uh, and, and and of different kinds. Even though the hotel is is doing a lot of things, you can say they have like a giant list of what they are doing to prevent people from getting ill, the so-called deli belly. Uh, but still, people have gotten ill. Uh, I know Kaima was not here from the for the first three games. Uh, Nils Kandelius has all has the, the Swedish player has been more or less ill the whole way and. Um, and so on. Uh, it's 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 a factor when you play in a country like India, and that's also why the French players like uh, Mamer, uh, like Lagrave and uh, Russia didn't want to come. But I think, well, come on, that's that's a little bit meek, right? You uh, uh, sometimes you will have to 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 be a little bit more adventurous. As as I see it, as a chess player, you're a gladiator, so you should get in the arena. You cannot uh, just say, oh, I might get a stomach ache and then not come. I don't think so. Um, there is a, there's a, the, the, the best player, performed player here is, of course, Gukas. 
Uh, the second best is Carlsen, uh, which is very impressive because his team is not playing well. And we could say from the beginning that they were not going to finish in their third seed position because they're just not tough enough on the, on the lower boards. And and also when, when a, t- a player like a uh, world-class player like Tari is having a bad tournament, then they have no chance of, of ever finishing in, the, in, in, in one of the, the nice spots. But there's a guy on uh, board in, in, in uh, board two that's been extremely impressive uh, Connor uh, Murphy from Ireland um, well uh, where, where could you go to find a strong chess player apparently in Ireland he's got 24 something and he's uh, made a like I think uh, eight and a half out of nine or something six or six and a half, uh, uh, seven and a half out of eight uh, he's just and he's playing fantastically well he's beating two strong grandmasters so you should check out his game Murphy so no Murphy's Law here. Um, then there's uh, Corona. Uh, the, the, I was told that Peter Axe from uh, Hungary, he was uh, supposed to be the team captain. Uh, by the way, they have spelled his name wrong, so his name is Peter Ace. That's kind of funny. Uh, and he is um, he's playing for the first time in like 17 years because uh, Glidura uh, got... Um, Corona and uh, of course was not allowed to play. Uh, he's still here though because he's got a ticket to the to the U.S. from uh, from India uh, and he, where he lives. Um, okay, let's see who's going to win this Olympiad. That's a big interesting question. We got Uzbekistan. They're young guys uh, out from uh, the wilderness. Uh, uh, well, I don't know about you. I don't know anybody. I know one person who's been to Uzbekistan and said it was kind of nice. There's some called, something called Samarkand. And of course, they have the, the main capital, Tashkent. But come on, Uzbekistan, that's really not a place you know. But they suddenly have a very strong play, uh, team of strong youngest, And they are all performing perfectly. And uh, I think you have to give a big go to the, the coach, uh, Ivan Sokolov. Uh, he will probably uh, he should get one of the 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 best trainer of the year awards. Uh, and he was in the press center, and he was uh, after the the match they played against the U.S. Uh, uh, and and he was uh, or India or I don't know remember what it was, but he was he was clear no against the, against the U.S. Uh, it was two two I think. And and he was he was like he. he we can win this. We are just as good as the other guys. We are just as good as the U.S. They might have 27, uh, 50 plus on all the boards, but there we are still be- we, we can still play with these guys. And it seems he's right because everybody on the t- the, the first four they are all in the top score list, all uh, overperforming massively. Uh, we're gonna see one of them here. They are playing India two today in a match that could decide the tournament, but they will, they will still have a very tough uh, last round. Uh, there's no easy matches on, on, on in this 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 tournament. Uh, there's no one who's got that much control that they could just win a match. Uh, Armenia is not out of the race, even though they lost yesterday. And we're going to see that game. They lost to Uzbekistan uh, 3-1. Uh, and uh, this game we're going to see is between... Uh, uh, probably unknown players, but they are both very strong. Uh, so don't, uh, don't think. Uh, and I think I think it will be uh, I think India too will win, but we'll see. Uh, you you can uh, say this, say us, us wrong in a short while because they're they're about to begin in like uh, four and a half hours when I was recording it, and I have some internet problems, so getting it on uh, online uh, might take uh, a few more hours. Um, I've had. Tons of problems here with uh, with technical stuff, uh, which has been very daunting. Uh, the night of uh, the Cadillac of chess openings, Bishop D3, I think the last variation or whatever. I, this is what I play in Blitz. Um, it's it's a good move. Uh, it's not so bad. Um, I think uh, the most annoying uh, response is actually Knight C6, just saying okay. <laughs> You're not uh, you're not uh, protecting the knight anymore, so I'm gonna just gonna attack it. Uh, e5 is uh, is is probably playing a little bit into white's hands because the knight is rather good here. First of all, uh, it can it supports this move, but also it can go here and and these squares are more more or less the weakness in in, in white in black's camp. Even though black's position is is very resilient uh, castle, 
and uh, so at F4, uh, and that's that's kind of nice. Uh, and that's what we are hoping for when when Black plays uh, this. Black is sort of facing a, a little bit of problem. If he goes to this square with the bishop, then the knight might land here, or you'll have to weaken the dark squares with d6 uh, to to avoid it landing there. Um, but if you go here, then the f pawn is coming, and uh, and white will get attacking chances on the queen side, the king side. So he, he chooses here and takes. And we see that sign, that looks like a good bargain for white, right? Uh, to, to get the knight to this active square, hitting uh, the bishops immediately, and uh, is cannot be that bad. Knight c6. Here comes an interesting move I have not seen before in this position, but I, I kind of like it. B3. Uh, taking control over uh, the c4 square and uh, saying, okay, we would like the, the Horowitz bishops here. And if you look at it, uh, all uh, pieces here are actually pointing in one direction. So black will have to be careful on the king side. But black's position is rather solid, especially uh, most Sicilian players. They're not very afraid when they have a knight here because then they say, okay, it's gonna, it can, it can take anything. Um, but it's not so simple. All natural moves. Uh, notice if he takes here, I think, uh, I think we will take back with the C pawn. G6, A3, and uh, and you could argue that Black should get going at some point with with B5. He never did, uh, and I think maybe he was actually getting a little bit nervous uh, in the game uh, that that this is a crucial game, I'm black against it, I should not lose this. Uh, they, they, they did end up losing 3-1, uh, they lost on both board 3-4, uh, and four, showing that it's not only the Nordic. By the way, I found out, I thought they were related actually, but they just have the same name, we have uh, Nordic Abdu Zabarov and we have Nordic Jakub Boyev, uh, and, but they're not related, <laughs> it's just a weird uh, twist of fate, or maybe Nordic is the most popular name in Uzbekistan. Uh, okay, there are some uh, issues on the F file already, uh, and knight here, and um, this might come. I think uh, black has to play more actively here. The, the thing is, he's a little bit afraid of this. Uh, oops, sorry. Um, this move and and something with this because there is an X-ray effect here. So queen goes, uh, and and white is just in time to uh, sit on this one. So black is regretting not having pushed the B pawn because white is clearly better already. Bishop d4, having great control over the, the position, um, and and black ha has to defend. But black is very solid. It takes uh, some time to, to, to break uh, something like this down. Queen d1, playing very, very carefully. And I think white is, is, is very confident here that the thing is, black would like to, uh, to take here at some point, um, but but uh, it it doesn't not really work uh, and and this this uh, oops, um, oops. this guy here will get weak and if that guy goes then this square goes and if this square goes black is more or less toast so he has to save stay put and he, and here he decided to give away that square but that's not nice and here it's already clear that white is is much more much better. Um, and, and the thing is, is he, uh, maybe he already here saw that on board four, uh, they were doing great. Um, could be, but, it, but I don't think he would have taken a draw um, because he is he's clearly better. He's just moving around. He has time. They are patient, these guys. And more pieces are coming. And this is actually um, probably he, around here that... Uh, that uh, Yavokir Sindikov, Sindarov uh, realized that, okay, I can actually cross through here. So, uh, talented young player, and here it comes. Boom! Nice little move. Uh, because it looked like Black had, had a, a good position, and then suddenly uh, a sacrifice appears. And say, usually it's not so difficult to sacrifice when you can see that all Black's pieces will be sort of scattered all over the board. There will be great attacking chances. There will be great chances to pick up more material somewhere. So you will, and you will 
keep a lot of pieces on the board. The problem with sacrificing is, is if he's able to sort of get a lot of pieces off the board immediately. But this is not the case here. Of course, um, losing d6 or the bishop on d7 is unacceptable. So knight a5. Um, and, and black is, is, is already uh, really in serious trouble here. Uh, this might be threatened. Um, this might be threatened. Take and f6 and, and so on might be threatened. And and we'll see this guy wake in, get into the game uh, very soon as well. So black hurries up to play f6. But then there's b4, and um, well, uh, the knight does not have a good square. If it takes here, which is, looks like, then something like this is just uh, not really good. Um, it's it's just uh, you you can't if you take back, then this is a problem, of course. Uh, if you take back with the with the f pawn, then f6 is no, you can ah, you don't have to play f6. You can play queen d3 first, threatening mate. Um, and after this, uh, black is is really really busted. Um, so he's trying this, but it's it's not helping. Take and keeping up the pressure. So let's uh, recount. White won a pawn, but. He, also, he has a very, very dominant position, control over the open files. And uh, this knight here is preventing the rooks from coming in. This rook, it would like to go here, but can't. Out of the check. And attacking f6 and rook d8 and black resigned um, great game by Sindarov, uh, modern chess uh, in 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 many way and, and interesting to see the black even though he had a, a like an almost a perfect setup he was still white was still able to cross through with a sacrifice which is, is, is always nice anyway uh, this has been an uh, amazing olympiad so far in that you, I never seen uh, spectator interest like this before. Like, uh, like you will see in uh, in the thumbnail, they're they're simply lining up to get into the playing hall. It also means that as a captain, I can't get in again if I go out. There are very strict rules. Without that, that's very annoying for me because sitting there for like four hours is a little bit too boring. But I would like to stay, be there when uh, to sign and and when when there's the time travel and so on. Uh, so I usually I go to work at the at the media center, but then I can't get it back in. Uh, I tried to sneak in a few times. It worked, but yesterday they kicked me out. So um, I guess that's. That's that's the end of the run for me with, with that. But I I'll, I think I still stay with the with the press center because it's it's a long time. Uh, Denmark lost to Spain, uh, three one. Uh, we were not really close to anything, uh, and a bit depressing that uh, the first time we we meet a, a team above uh, our weight class, uh, we just lose. Uh, we are playing Colombia, uh, and they should be. Uh, someone we can beat, but we have uh, <laughs> we have missed before, so I'm not uh, I'm not co totally convinced it will go 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 greatly. Um, anyway, this um, uh, yeah, this was DM Talks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and keep, please like and subscribe and all that things. Um, bye bye.